everyone, it's Sandra again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know if you are aware, but we got a spring. Yay! It's warmer outside, the sun is shining and it's so beautiful that I wanted to have a little bit of this freshness in my home. That's why I just realized that I should do something inside. Um, and I decided that um, I should probably start from my dining room as it's, you know, the most abundant room in my home. I was thinking what to do the first because I know I would like to change my um, flooring I know I would add some furniture but the first thing and the easiest thing to to change something is just to change you know the light fixtures so I was browsing the internet to find some tassel chandelier as you can easily find tons of them at the Pinterest I really really like the boho vibes and it just came to me okay I can easily DIY it by my own um, and if you want to see how it turned out, come on, let's get started. For this project we will need three metal hoops in a different size, yarn, wallet to wrap yarn on it, sharp scissors, light fixture, S-hook and a chain, pliers and spray paint. So let's roll it. I'm using Trimit's 100% cotton yarn. Let's start by making a tassel. I wrap the yarn on the wallet approximately 50 times. I strongly advise doing this while watching a movie or just TV as it's the longest, really long part of making this chandelier. Seriously, you will need to make around 100 tassels, so really, watch some movie. I've made 130 tassels to achieve a fuller look. I've used 10 balls of yarn, each was 100 grams. In the next step, you will need to tie your tassels to the hoop. Tie them very tight, so they won't fall out after a while. Trim the excess of the yarn all the way around. Just to be on the safe side, I've secured all the knots with a dot of hot glue. Cut off the tie backs, you won't need them anymore. In the next step, I'm cutting 8 long strings of yarn to connect all the 3 hoops. You can use a chain for it, but I wanted to make sure that the connection wouldn't be visible. Start from the biggest hoop. Tie the first string very snug. Then count how many tassels you have on the hoop and divide it by 4 so you will precisely know where to tie the rest of the strings. Then insert your middle hoop into the biggest hoop. Connect the two hoops. In the beginning I was trying to eyeball the distance between the two hoops, but it was quite tricky. That's why I've decided to measure the distance and tie the connection strings at the 10 cm distance. After that, count all the tassels at the middle hoop and divide it by 4. Then connect the two hoops in the same way as earlier. Do the same to connect the third hoop with the second. Now it's time for a chain. I didn't want the chain to be too long, 30cm is just the right length for me. Well, it took me a little bit of time to split the chain, but in the end I succeed. Connect the chain in places where the connection strings are. Trim 
join all the chains with your S hook and close the hook with the pliers. And you are nearly done. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoy that DIY project. In the future I will have tons of more DIYs because I wanted to freshen up my um, dining room so there will be tons of DIYs. Um, I will build some furniture, I will make some artwork and hopefully I will be able to lay the flooring so fingers crossed everything will be fine. Um, yeah and if you really enjoyed it as I said thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell just to you know stay in touch and that's it for today thank you for watching see you next time bye have a nice day